three and one on Box Rec. In Box Rec, they go, got you under Duran Galvan, but we all know you're the son of a legend, Roberto Duran. Correct. Correct. Tell me what that's like, knowing that your pops, some say, is the best pound for pound boxer of all time. I mean, you know, it's crazy to have a father with that much status. You know, who, you know, he's a legend in boxing. Did everything. You know, he accomplished a lot. He's, he's just an icon for people, especially the Latino people. And to have him as a father, you know, is just something out of this world. And then to continue the legacy, up, hip, uplift the name, is just something even more. You know, it's a blessing. Yeah, and live in studio, Roberto Duran Jr., under box rec, Duran Galvan. So however you want to look him up, he's live in Albuquerque tonight. You get started about 28, 29 28, years old. 28. What makes you start so late? Well, I was living in New York. You know, I didn't have... I didn't know anybody on my dad's side of the family. So I finally got in connection with my older sister, Dahlia. And then ever since then, you know, she's like, hey, you want to start your career? Let me know. We'll fly you back down. And then everything just went on from there. And here I am. So the movies have been made. You know, I, I remember meeting your pops about 10 years ago at a fight. Now, I, I, I was starstruck. It's one of those guys that, you know, when you meet, I met Larry Bird, I was starstruck. <laughs> I met Roberto Duran. I took a step back, right? So what's it like now coming to Albuquerque? It's almost like your second home. I've been with you all week. Everywhere you go, it's like family here. Exactly, exactly. I mean, when I first came here back in November, when I first met you, it was just love from everybody. You know, Albuquerque is a, is a fighting city. They love the fighting game here. You know, so when they embraced me and you announced me in the ring, I was like, yes, I'm definitely making this home. And I'm definitely coming back here to fight. So you've been in New York, you've been in Miami, you've been in Fort Lauderdale. So tonight, you're the main event, tough kid out of El Paso, Texas. Some people say, hey, Mike, he's making his pro debut. Hey, I know El Paso, Texas. They come to fight. Oh, yeah, most definitely. What's the game plan for tonight? Well, you know, I'm a skilled boxer. You know, I'm smart with it. I know what I'm going to do. I know the game plan. Me and my partner here, Jeff, you know, we worked on it for months. You know, just not just this fight for any other fight. It's just basically the same game plan. It's to fight smart. You know, be aggressive, be strong, but just fight smart in there. For those of you just joining me, Roberto Duran Jr. on 95.9 FM and AM 610, the sports animal. Now, you got a little swagger to you. <laughs> and, 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 you know, you come in, people know you stay in shape. All the time. All the time, right? All the time. And, and, and you have this way about you, the charisma side of you. Where'd you, where'd you get that from? I don't know. I mean, it's just natural. In there. It's just how it is. <laughs> that's a New York thing or a Miami thing? Yeah, that's a New York thing, man. Right? That's right. a New York thing. <laughs> so you're three and one, but four and one. Really, yeah. Four right? And one. Four and one. Mm -hmm. um, and what's the plan? I mean, moving forward, what's the plan, right? Are we going to fast forward your career? What What are you looking to do down the line? Man, what I'm looking to do is simple. You know, I'm build up as many fights as I can on my record. You know, build my record up as quickly as possible. And then start getting in the, in the rankings, you know, start going for, you know, you know, those Linnell titles, those uh, intercontinental titles, and then hopefully go for those world titles soon. You know, they're not going to be too soon, but down the line, that's what we're aiming for. If you want to get involved, 2460610. I got to ask you this question. You were in Florida a couple weeks back. Riddick Bowe went down to see you. Vinny mm -hmm. Paz went down to see you. What's it like about be being around those legends? I mean, you're surrounded by legends. I mean, Riddick Bowe, is, he, we're, we're from the same area. We're all from the same area. We, we run into Riddick Bowe all the time. You know, we crack jokes with him. We was just at the fights. Uh, another kid of ours that we know that's a professional fighter, he was just there at the fights with us, and he's an amazing guy. And Vinny Paz used to work my corner, too, a couple months back, you know, but he's got a lot of things going on, too, where he's got him really doing his own thing right now. So everything's great, man. This is a good feeling. I'll tell you a funny story. About 24 years ago, one of my first guests ever was Vinny Pazienza. <laughs> and then I get to meet your pops, and now I'm with the kid. Uh, Jeff, welcome to the show. Come on in. What's it like working with Roberto Duran Jr.? Oh, man. You know, Rob. Rob's one of those types of fighters that you, that you dream about just for the simple fact is, you know, you got to kick him out of the gym. You know, a lot of fighters, you got to call them and, are you running, you know, show up, pick him up at his house to make sure he's in. I don't even ask Rob if he ran. I know he ran. You know, I know he's putting the work in outside of the gym that I can see. And just on that fact alone, man, it's, it's a blessing to train a kid like that on top of the fact that, you know, he's got quick hands, he can punch, he can put his punches together, he's got good defense. I mean, you know, he does everything that you're supposed to do to be a successful professional fighter. And training guys like that is, 
you know, it's always a good time. So. How, how do you acclimate to the altitude here? A little different than West Palm. Oh, my God. I can't breathe, man. My mm. nose is all... If I didn't have Afrin, I'd be done. We wouldn't even be talking right now. Yeah, a little different altitude yeah. in Albuquerque, New Mexico. When you talk about Albuquerque, you got to talk about Danny Romero Jr., Bob Foster, the greatest light heavyweight champion ever, and, of course... Johnny Tapia, oh, so, oh, man. you know, you I think about you think about Albuquerque, right? Holly Holm, who's mm -hmm. a tremendous boxer and MMA fighter. Austin Trout beat Cotto in the Garden from Las Cruces. <laughs> a lot of big names yes, here, man. Yes, so, yes. you know, I, and if we're we're in the neighborhood, Wells Park's right over here. They got a giant statue of Johnny. If you get a chance, drive by there when you're going back. But I, I mean, the guy was was probably the most recognized athlete ever to come out of New Mexico. Yeah, most definitely. And the fight here is kind of cool, oh, right? Oh, yes, it's a blessing, man, because it's Johnny Tapia, man. And to be here in this city, you know, going stepping in the ring for the first time in Albuquerque, in his town, in front of, you know, his people, our people now, you know, it's just, it's just something else. 24 sellout, Holmes Boxing. You and Pat kind of got a good relationship going. How did that all start? Well, it started with a friend of his, Bobby. You know, he reached out to me through Instagram. He's like, yo, Rob, man, if you need any, you know, cars to get on, I, I got the right man for you. His name is Pat, good dude. I'm like, yeah, just send me his number. I'll get in contact with him directly, you know. And then it, all it took was one conversation, and here I am now. Yeah, Pat, the Hall of Fame promoter here in, in New Mexico, inducted in the New Mexico Boxing Hall of Fame now. You have fans from England who flew all the way from London Most definitely. to come down here to see you friends and, and family from Rhode Island yes. that flew in here. I mean, all coming to Albuquerque. Think about that. Yeah, it is. It's something big for me, man. You know, I'm so appreciative for them coming down. Not just them, but also the people here. Anybody supporting me anywhere that's here tonight or just watching or who bought a shirt or anything. You know, I'm really appreciative of that. It's just a blessing. I've seen his gear. If you're into sports memorabilia, you definitely want one of these shirts. They're clean. I saw him the other day. I was like, I got to get me one of those and sport it around town. Now, you're a family man. Uh, I see how you are around your kid, and, and, and you're just a good dude, man. And that came from somewhere. Where, where did it all stem from? I don't know, man. It's difficult, man, because to tell you the truth, growing up with my dad, it's, I didn't grow up with my dad like that. You know, we were distance. I grew up with my great-grandparents and my grandparents, so they kind of, you know, molded me as I got older. Like, listen, this is how it is. This is how you got to be. And me also, just growing up in New York, you know, by myself, I had to tell myself, like, yo, man, I got I to gotta live a different way. I got to think differently. And this is what it is. I just molded myself to be that person. What part of New York? Upstate New York. It's connected. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, moving forward, and, I, and I'm thinking about this in a bigger picture, right? I'm thinking about this in a bigger picture. The fight here, you want to take fights? Like, what's the plan? Two months? Four months? You're gonna move them quick, Jeff. I mean, what, what what's the big overall plan when you're th when you when you're starting this this age in the game? I mean, you know, obviously, since you know Rob, you know, he's still under ten fights and and he stays in the gym. I want to fight as much as possible. So, you know, he's he's got a management team, and like you said, he's you know he's got people out here in New Mexico. So I'll leave that up to them. But he he'll he'll be back in the gym next week. I mean, look, I have to kick him out of the gym. We have more arguments about him getting leaving the gym like stop working i want to go home uh so a as many fights as they can throw our way man he's ready you know barring any you know type of whatever you know he he's ready to fight he's ready to fight a lot he's in great shape he's like a robot in there so you know bring him on man as many fights as he can get this year let's do it. as many fights we can get next year let's do it and then obviously you start going after the tougher guys and, and bigger challenges you know holmes boxing tonight marriott pyramid north it should be a tremendous card. Andres the Bullet Quintana also on the card, along with many others. Leanna Martinez from Santa Fe, New Mexico. Excuse me, Española in Cordova, New Mexico. She typically fights in Santa Fe, uh, but she's going to be in Española. We're going to go to these commercial breaks when I come back. More with Roberto Duran Jr. We're on 95.9 FM and AM 610. D Sports Animal.